On Thursday, the 22nd of August, we raced at Hollywood Bay at Scraville, and we were on the turf track. There were eight races carded. Race number one was the start of the bipod. Looks to be traveling well, but Hoodwing still right there, and one armed bandits running an absolute cracker down the center on the stand side of the track. Industrial Strengths also looking to put in a big finish, but it's one armed bandit who continues to lead. Barry de Grand's running on towards the inside, and over the top, Industrial Strengths running on very strongly. Industrial Strength is accelerating really well, gonna win this. Beats one armed bandit. That was two, six, three, and nine, and punters were up to an absolute flyer with the odds on shot winning race. Number two was the start of the place accumulator, and a long overdue for this victory, love in winter. Run on. Cotton Ron looks to be travelling well towards the inside. Daring Act is finding a big finish now. Trippy T is still right there. They spread right across the track. And Love in Winter starting to filter through the field under Rachel Vinegar. Love in Winter is coming home very strongly down the centre. Trippy T is trying hard. Love in Winter narrowly in front. Trippy T coming late. Love in Winter is going to be Trippy. That was 5, 7, 4 and 3. Uh, the order of finish there and a favourite winning race number two race number three was the start of the pick six and uh, could these great results continue for the backers of the top one Carnival Park being asked for maximum on the inside. Amigo tries to come forward, but as they come to the 300, Mbalelo has a length to spare. Carnival Park's on the inside. Amigo's trying to make a race of it. Mbalelo's in full cry inside the last 100 metres. And the rest of the field are simply racing against the tide. Mbalelo to win it. Freddie Slater stays on well. Amigo... Three races, three favourites, nine, seven, uh, no, nine, three, seven, and five. Then on to Jackpot One, which was race number four, and Atlantia was the horse that was on top of betting boards. Inside, Lancia is going to go to the inside and Global Ruler, and these four appear to have the race to themselves. Always shining with the yellow cap now puts Magma Magic under pressure. Lancia down the insides making a race of it. On the outside, always shining. Lancia now starts to wear into the lead. Lancia's coming to get them all, and it's Lancia from in second, always shining. One, six, two, and four, and it was four from four for the backers of the top one. On to race number five. This was a maiden plate over 2,300. The head in front. Rainbow of Roses, the yellow cap on the right hand side. Lightning Fork on the inside, Intuitive Spirit. Walkie Talkie on the inside. Outside of the group, Rainbow of Roses, Intuitive Spirit's looking to run on. All the while, Magic Hattrick's also getting into it. Walkie Talkie, Intuitive Spirit now inhaling them later on, and Intuitive Spirit knows the drill. From in second, Walkie Talkie. 5, 2, 11 and 3, race number 5 and on to the 6th race uh, which was a low 68 handicap and uh, Sean Veal was very bullish after his interview in race number 5 on his mount here called Mike's Mazarin. Top of the lane, 400 metres to go. The grey global movement moves into the inside. Lucretius on the outside becomes a runner. Down the inside, Mike's Mazarin. Global movement, the grey, the one to get a hold of, has three parts of a length to spare. Lucretius, Mike's Mazarin, Manic Monday, King Bavarian. It's going to get close because Mike's Mazarin's coming powerfully going to get up. Mike's Mazarin from King Bavarian. Order finished there, 2, 8, 6 and 3. Then on to race number 7. Would look to be a competitive race, but keep an eye out for the striking grey. Is on the outside, then Perilla. And Bull is on it towards the inside, forgiveness. 300 to go, and Stormy Choice and Pointer come clear. But the grey Stormy Choice hit the front. Pointer's on the inside. Rider hasn't gone for the stick on Pointer. Perilla and Forgiveness on the inside. Pointer, Stormy Choice. All the while, Perilla's got them. And Perilla's got the winning formula. Stormy Choice, second point. Well, I said striking grey because there were two greys in the race, but Perilla came through to win three, seven, four, and one. And on to the lucky last race, number eight.
standing comes out, but it's in Lamu's they come to the 300. Baratheon's down the centre of the course. Last one standing, Sundon's kid trying to get into it. Baratheon now takes on Indlamu at the 200 metre marker. Yes, Baratheon coming at Indlamu the last 100. Last one standing, Natiam's come from absolutely nowhere. Baratheon the leader though, and Baratheon from Kaiomai, Natiam and Indlamu. 10, 1, 8, and 2, and that's how we close things off. A big thank you to the entire team, Sheldon Peters and Devon Gambina in the commentary box, Rahil in uh, Gallup, and on behalf of the production crew at Gallup TV, thanks to you, the Valiant Racing fan, and uh, hopefully it turned out to be a fair day for you if you played at Hollywood Bed Scrabble. From myself, Dees Dainan, until we meet again, you take care. Salani Gaslev.